Let's look at how we can easily generate contours using digital elevation model. This is typically how we do it in our shop. We'll use a Kentucky example um, and we need some contours for, for a project. Why would we need those? It might be a planning project or preliminary design or maybe we want to augment a project survey we've been uh, involved with. Our output is, is most often an ESRI shapefile and then we're going to use this uh, either with uh, ArcMap as part of a GIS project or maybe we'll take it to AutoCAD, use it in MicroStation for highway design, or we might just stay in the open source environment and use it with Quantum GIS. So how do we do this? Well, uh, the tools and process we're going to use, first of all, we have to acquire our digital elevation model that's usually stored as a tile and easily downloaded at least in Kentucky, it's it's available statewide now. We're going to use the GeoSync Go Cloud uh, Kentucky app that um, the CDP developed. It's a free app. We'll use that to download individual tiles. Pretty easy to do. Then we're going to add the DIM to Quantum GIS, uh, set the correct projection, and then we're going to generate contours. And at that point, we'll have a shapefile and we'll really have completed our task. The first thing we're going to do is go to uh, our browser Type in geosyncgo.com slash go. And then that's going to take us to the uh, Geosync Go site. Uh, use the Discover Maps option. Then we will view the Kentucky map. And then we need to find the location where we want to generate a tile. I'm going to come into an area here along the uh, uh, where US 27 crosses the Kentucky River. And then I'm going to turn on my uh, digital elevation tiles. Notice here that this, uh, that this has multiple tiles. I might want to download multiple tiles to work with, but I'm just going to work with one right now. I'm just going to go ahead and grab this, uh, this one tile. And then uh, we'll use the uh, hyperlink to download. See, this is uh, downloading very quickly. It's not very large. Open our folder and we will copy this DIM. And now we're going to take it to our project folder <clears throat> and paste. Tile is zipped up, so we're going to unzip, extract. And then we're going to go to Quantum GIS. And at this point, we will drag and drop our DIM into our Quantum GIS project. And now at this point, we can see we have, we have the tile here. The next step is to check our projection. And we're going to make sure we get this right. We know what the projection is. We want to make sure that it's set properly. And then from here, we're ready to generate contours. We're going to use the raster extraction contour tool. Uh, in this case, it's already told me, it's already, it's already set the DIM that I'm going to use. I'm going to select uh, folder location for my output contours. I'm going to name that contours. Uh, the interval that I want to do is I want to do two foot contours and set an attribute name as part of that output and shapefile. Uh, the elevation, I'd like to have uh, uh, the attribute named EL, EV or elevation. And then I just click OK, and this is now generating my contours. And I've now completed contours for this particular area. And we can just quickly you know, take a look at what that might look like. Um, so our task is complete. We now have contours generated, and those are now uh, saved on in my project folder right here with my contour shapefile.